I, I want to bring in a good friend of the victim, Travis Alexander. Taylor Searle, I want to thank you for joining us tonight from Phoenix, Arizona, where this trial is occurring in that very area. Um, you know, even if he was having premarital sex behind closed doors, there is a huge difference between doing something illegal and doing something that may be against the confines of your religion. What is your reaction to this blame and smear the victim strategy by the defense? I think it's the only defense that they can have is somehow saying that Travis had this coming to him because the things that he preached to his friends and the things that he tried to inspire others to uh, become was somehow a facade and he was really some sex crazed maniac and it was uh, Jody's duty to rid the world of him. I, I, I don't know how there's any other defense besides that even though that's ridiculous. You knew Travis Alexander well. Was he the kind of guy who led a double life? Essentially, that's what they're accusing him of. And I want to give you an opportunity as a friend of his to set the record straight, given that he cannot speak for himself anymore. I, I think calling it a double life is a little simplistic. I, I would say that he had ideals that he wanted to live up to, and he had standards that he truly believed in. And uh, he was a natural man with natural tendencies. And... The fact that he had these uh, relationships with uh, women doesn't mean that he was lying when he said what his ideals were. He had no reason behind closed doors and in the confidence with his friends to lie about what he believed in. Uh, I mean, there's no reason that I would call it a double life because he has ideals and because he struggles in trying to uh, uphold them. Of course. Who doesn't? Who lives the perfect life? Who lives up to their own ideals. I certainly don't. I don't know really anybody who does. Um, we are all conflicted. Now, um, what I want to ask you, Taylor, is that the defense tried to also diffuse this notion that she was stalking him, essentially arguing that while he was telling his friends, oh, she's stalking me, he was privately continuing a relationship with her where he was sort of the aggressor. Uh, your thoughts on that? Uh, my thoughts are, if that was the case, let's take that for their word for it on that. Uh, is that the reason she drove from California and took a knife and a gun upstairs and shot and stabbed him? Right. Uh, I, I'm just presenting what the defense is saying. I'm certainly not arguing the defense. I'm actually trying to give yeah, 